Hey guys, I'm not doing a reading in this uh, video. I am doing an unboxing or an unveiling for this beautiful deck that I just got. It's the Arcanum Tarot, uh, and Arcanum is pretty much just the word for like Major Arcana, Minor Arcana, and Arcanum is basically the word for like esoteric knowledge. So the artwork here is by Renata Lechner. And, uh, it's published by Los Garibo Torino. Don't know who those people are. I am not a tarot expert at all. Ripping the plastic off of this. Um, one of the things that I did kind of come across as I wanted to understand a little bit about the different decks that these people have, whoever they may be, they have a Solemma Tarot, and they have the Arcanum Tarot. The Solemma Tarot, too, from what I've seen, the artwork is beautiful. I haven't seen the whole deck. I'm not usually a fan of, like, the computer images or the digital pictures, because I think sometimes they look super cheesy. But from what I've seen in this deck, it is beautiful, and I cannot wait to share this here with you guys. So we're going to kind of discover this deck together here. The Solemma pictures from what I saw also were very pretty. Also in this style, in the computer style. Let me go ahead and get something sharp here to break through the plastic. Um, but from my understanding, and again, I'm not like a tarot connoisseur. I'm not an expert on the history and philosophies of tarot. But the Solemma tarot is based on the beliefs of everyone should have the will or the freedom to do whatever they want to do. Like, I, I guess there's just kind of, like, you just live your life how you want to live it. That you should try to live it in love. You know, like, like live in love, but do, do whatever you want to do. And it's that kind of a philosophy. Whereas, um, with the Arcanum... I, don't, I wouldn't say that the Arcana Tarot is going to tell you how to live your life or give you rules. But I don't know, maybe it's a little bit structured in its symbolisms and in its beliefs, possibly. Quite possibly. We're going to adjust the camera here a little bit. There we go. Oh my goodness, I love that image there. So this is like the cover, I guess. And that would be the strength card. We've all seen the strength card. And let's go ahead and flip through this beautiful deck. So this is obviously like the little... Um, cover or intro and now we're gonna go through so here's the here's the fool with the little doggy which we always see the magician I love the colors I'm really into colors so the colors on here are just just oh my goodness there's the high priestess oh my goodness that's just beautiful i i love the symbolism here um for those of you who don't know i mean i could just see how much work went into this card into the planning of the art because light blue for those of you do, who don't know is kind of like a symbolism for intuition for that feminine divine or the feminine intuition Purple would be representative of uh, the, you know, psychic ability or the third eye. Also, the color of transmutation, of clearing. Bl uh, so we have the dark blues too, which is like protection, right? The moon here on the crown, the, uh, the enlightenment coming in, um, you know, the key to the, to the knowledge. I just really, really love the imagery here, the colors, the symbolism. All of the stars. I just, I love it. Oh my goodness, another beautiful one. The Empress. See here. With the Lotus. The Lotus is very symbolic also. The Dove is very symbolic. Uh, the uh, crown or the headdress. See, and this is interesting here. There's a waterfall kind of coming out of her belly i guess you could say so there's all of these little symbolisms and if you don't know how to read tarot um and if you forget the meaning of the cards i didn't start out with regular tarot i was terrified of it when i first started going in and i was really into the angel cards because i felt comfortable with that 
Um, but all, all it really is, is, you know, you do learn what the cards mean, but more so than that, pay attention to the pictures and what those mean to you, because sometimes that's the way that your guides are going to come in and communicate with you about what the message is. So like, w you know, there's the wheat here. What could that mean to you? There's the, you know, fountain here coming out of her belly. What could that mean to you? And to me, I'm just of the belief that you are going to receive whatever message is meant for you to receive from that. But the Empress obviously is a card that has to do with creativity, with fertility. Again, that divine feminine energy. I don't think I showed you guys the backs of the cards. It's very pretty. Very pretty. Here we have the Emperor. Love that. The Hierophant. Such beautiful artwork. I'll go a little faster. The Lovers. I usually don't like the Lovers card. Not that I don't like Lovers. I just think the artwork is usually cheesy. But I thought that was really pretty. That's cool. The Chariot there. There's our Strength card. This is by far my favorite stink Strength card. And any deck that I have ever seen. I just... I'm blown away by that. There's the Hermit. That's a cool Hermit card. That's really cool. The Wheel. I just really love the colors. Justice. Justice is blind. The Hanged Man. <laughs> this one's a little... It's cool, but it's also a little bit creepy. I don't know, for me anyway. But it's cool. The Hanged Man. Death. Man, that is a serious death card. It's still beautiful. It's creepy, but it's still beautiful. And of course, Temperance. That's awesome. The Devil. Wow. Wow. Serious. The tower. I kind of like this. I, I like this depiction of the tower because even though the tower could be about something ending or something being destroyed, I kind of like this little thing coming down from the sky because to me it gives a feeling that it's something is coming by way of divine intervention. Like you're being redirected. It, it's some act of God. And I think that makes it easier to embrace tower moments when you look at it that way. But I really like the symbolism there. I, I'm willing to bet that that was deliberate, you know, that that was like planned or that that's what this picture is trying to portray or communicate. Really love that. Next one is the star. Oh my god, I love those colors. Love it. Beautiful. The moon. The sun. That is so cute. How adorable is that? <laughs> it's so cute. Judgment. How beautiful. The world. I honestly think this may become like my main deck. I might have to get a few boxes of these because... I shuffle like a Vegas card dealer and I beat up my cards pretty bad and I do a lot of readings and I do the daily readings. Two of Cups. I may have to get a few boxes of these. Three of Cups. That is so pretty. Four of Cups. <laughs> I like this card because Four of Cups, for those of you who don't know, it's kind of like you have a little bit of tunnel vision going on. You're bored with everything that's around you. You're not realizing what the universe is trying to hand you or give you. And if you look at her face, she totally looks bored. She's like, she's so over it. She's so over it. That's funny. I like that card. So let's see here. Five of Cups. Yeah, Five of Cups is when you're like disappointed. Crying over the three that you don't have. You don't see the two that you still got. Beautiful. I just, man, this is art. It's like, these are like beautiful paintings. It doesn't look like cheesy digital art, you know? 
And I'm not trying to put digital art down. I'm just saying anytime I've seen a digital digital art tarot deck, it's always been a little bit cheesy. Because let's face it, it's a tarot deck. People aren't going to put a whole lot of time into it usually. But I just feel like whoever put these together um, really, really took time and made it look nice. Six of Cups. Seven of Cups. That's a cool Seven of Cups. Eight of Cups. Oh my god, I love it! Oh, those colors are just so breathtaking. Nine of Cups. How cute is that? I mean, how could you not love the artwork on here? Ten of Cups. Oh my goodness, with the cute little baby and all the rainbow colors and all the cups are full. That is sweet. Page of Cups. <laughs> with the fish. <laughs> that fish has always cracked me up. I know it has symbolism, but it's just always been so odd to me. Page walking around with a goldfish in a cup. Um, Knight of Cups. This is so cool. So very cool. Beautiful. Queen of Cups. Love the Queen of Cups. I love the Queen of Cups energy. I love what she stands for. I love the colors here. King of Cups. Also nice. Ace of Pentacles. That's pretty. Two of Pentacles. <laughs> I like the facial expressions on here. Like, they, they took their time. They really did. Oh! I keep knocking over this camera. See, this is why I would really appreciate donations on the patreon account so i can invest in some better equipment here <laughs> there it goes again i think it's because i have it facing down so that you can see the cards better it's a little top heavy and it's uh falling over i'm hoping though to you know oh see you guys This is why every bit of help is greatly appreciated. So unfortunately I'm not going to be able to have it at that previous angle because it keeps slipping over. So here we have three of pentacles, right? That's beautiful. I want to also put together like little um, online groups for, for like learning about the cards for those of you who want to learn more about the cards. Here's four of pentacles. My goodness. How beautiful is that? Five of pentacles. Is the card itself blurry? No, the card itself is not blurry. It's my camera at this angle. Let's see if we can get like a better clearer view for you all. I'm sorry guys, I'm so bummed that I can't get like a clearer view for you there of better details. Here's Six of Pentacles. That's so cool, huh? Seven of Pentacles. This makes me want to paint. Eight of Pentacles. So cool. Nine of Pentacles. I feel like whoever did the artwork for this deck really, really understood 
the symbolism of each card. So either I think it's somebody who reads tarot or they really did their research. Because sometimes you have certain elements of it or it's just kind of thrown in. But there's just all these little nuances and all these little details in here that I'm seeing as I'm looking at the pictures. And I just, I really think this is some beautiful art with enough detail in here. So that if you are somebody who's practicing to read cards intuitively, um, it, it would be very helpful, all of the little details. Page of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. It's so cool. I really like the way they made um, his face, like his expression. Because Knight of Pentacles could be somebody who's like really, really into the details, really slow moving, really like, you know, making progress, but they really take their time because they want to make sure they can get it right. I've even heard that the Knight of Pentacles could also stand for like somebody who's maybe a little bit boring, like steady, but boring. I just, I feel like you kind of get that vibe here with this person that they've created. Queen of Pentacles. That is beautiful. Oh, look at the little bunny. I love it. King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is the first tarot card I ever drew for myself. I got a King of Earth in the um, Archangel Tarot. That's the first deck I ever touched. That's the first card I ever pulled for myself. So, King of Pentacles and I, we have a special bond. Ace of Wands. Now, this I love, and I'll tell you why. Because wands are fire energy. It's that, that fire, that work, that passion. But you don't typically see fire when you see wands. Like when you see a, a tarot deck and there's wands, you know that they're fire because you learned it, you studied it. But here you have, like you have a really good feeling of like that fire. I like that. Right, two of wands. Sweet balancing. Three of Wands. I love this card. Really nice card. I just love the artwork. Four of Wands. Party! The birds are coming to the party. <laughs> I just love that. There's like there, there's expression, there's emotion, there's like it's just it's so cute. Wow, there's five of wands. If that doesn't say competition, I don't know what does. Do you see how I'm saying that like these are really great for if you're reading intuitively or if you don't have all of the card meanings memorized in your head? Like you could look at this and you know, you could just see struggle. You could see competing, you could see like fighting each other. You would get that. You would just totally get that by looking at it. Very expressive. Six of Wands. Gosh, I just love this artwork. I love art. I just, I, I, I love art. And this to me is a work of art. This is Seven of Wands. This is the come at me bro card. Come at me bro. <laughs> Eight of Wands. Action time. Nine of Wands. You're on the defense. Ready. Ready for whatever may come. <laughs> this is so cool. I like this, and I'll tell you why. Because Ten of Wands can 
mean that you're, you have way too much going on, like you've taken way too much on your shoulders. And we can kind of see that, that he's got his hands full. But it could also mean being over something, like being done with it. And you get a sense of that too, because you would look at the card and it would be like, oh, well, here this person is. You know, like they're, they're, they're moving on. They're taking this stuff and they're, they're moving on or they're looking for somewhere else to go or looking for a place to set it down to get rid of it. It gives you that that sense and that feeling. That's why I'm just very impressed with this artist. I don't know anything about um, Renata. I don't know anything about who she is or what else she's done, but I love this. Page of Wands. Knight of Wands. I don't know if you guys are feeling the imagery here as much as I am, but for me, this is like the mic drop of tarot art. Gosh, look at that. Queen of Wands. Look at that. God. Just love it. Love it, love it, love it. There we go again. King of Wands. Ace of Swords. I don't like the imagery of Ace of Swords. But that, to me, looks, like, happy. That looks, to me, like something good is coming, which you typically wouldn't get with, like, the Ace of Swords imagery. I just love the detail there. I mean, look at the handle here. Look at the wings. The use of light, the colors. These eagles majestically flying down. I just, I can't even... Two of Swords. I like this a lot. Three of Swords. Oh, Three of Swords is never happy imagery, but it's still beautiful art. Still beautiful art. Four of Swords. Love it. Five of Swords. Six of Swords. Seven of Swords. Eight of Swords. Nine of Swords. Oh gosh. Yeah, Ten of Swords is never a happy card either. This is symbolic, obviously. Page of Swords. I just love how the personality is captured in these page cards. I mean... You would have a really good idea of what kind of personality you're dealing with when you look at these cards. Knight of Swords. Definitely not somebody you'd want to mess with, right? Queen of Swords. She's like, come at me. I dare you. <laughs> That's the Queen of Swords. 
king of swords. Oh, yeah, you don't want to mess with him. Just love that. And that's it. Here's a little insert here. The Trilogy of Thelema. Thelema Tarot 2015. Arcanum 2018. Okay, and then Millennium Thought Tarot. Now, I've seen... I, I've heard of the Thought Tarot. I haven't seen them. I haven't gone through them. I don't know if they're... They're probably not out yet because it's 2019. Uh, my understanding is Thought Tarot is really, really complex. Like, you, people generally really study that system and like i said i'm not a tarot expert i don't know about it but i mean if the art is as beautiful as what's here i'm sure i would love to have it at least just for the art oh so you can follow on facebook and instagram which is probably what i'm gonna do because it's amazing art amazing art so that's it guys thank you for sharing in my you know perusing through these beautiful cards I'm going to use these cards right now. I'm going to stop the video and clear them, bless them, charge them. And then I'm going to choose a card to post on Amethyst Angelite for the card of the day. So we'll see what the card of the day is going to be for Monday from this beautiful deck. Oop. There's the Empress saying hello to us. There's, a, there's our first message. All right, guys. So we'll see. We'll see what the card of the day for tomorrow is. Thanks for watching.